Well, hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Arc Survival Evolved. Excuse me. Do my freaking intro. Stupid raptors. Anyway, welcome on back. Uh, so in today's episode, we're gonna be doing a few things. Uh, I need an Enki, first off, and I'm gonna take my Parasaur. Parasauritarium, or whatever it's called. One of those things. Because <laughs> I got a great idea from... Uh, from a comment from the last episode, shout out to uh, Mostly Monkey. We're gonna build up a little base on the on the Paris Heritarium, and we're gonna run around the map and uh, collect all the artifacts and stuff. So I think that should be pretty fun. Going a little bit of Nomad style, and let me show you guys what I've been up to so far. Uh, I've been doing a couple things off camera. I uh, got these things all watered up, but still not uh, fertilized because I still need to make the other guy, but it will come in later. And I finally uh, mainly finished up the breeding area. So we got all these going here, we got air conditionings everywhere around. So we should be good on that. One thing I kind of failed to uh, to remember is that some of the creatures that we're gonna bring in here are gonna be quite big, like T-Rexes and Euteranuses, so uh, that might cause some issues, but I think we'll be fine. <laughs> uh, let's see here, this is still the same pretty much. Yeah, added a few pillars here and there to make it at least somewhat uh, look better <laughs> and I gotta be honest though I might not end up using this uh, farm not a whole lot anymore because while it does bring a decent amount of uh, metal it is not enough at least compared to what I can gather on my own with an Enki so yeah maybe I'll AFK here a few times here and there but yeah, I think uh, last time I AFK here I think I did it for like uh, almost two hours and I ended up with like see if there's still a year yeah, I mean, it's a decent amount. Let's see how much I have total, actually. Uh, bada bing, bada boom. What is this stuff called? Scrap metal. There we go. <laughs> Let's see here. Can I pull it all? There we go. Yeah, around 6k. I mean, it's decent, but yeah, definitely not enough. Especially for sitting here around here for like two hours. And I finally made this uh, kibble cooker. So we got that going already. Uh, I got four pieces of uh, regular kibble for the Enki. And for the Parasaur, I need about eight I believe of a uh, superior but one thing I'm missing is rare mushrooms and sap so we need to figure out a way to get that today uh, what else I've been also been killing a bunch of stuffs and hopefully uh, we can get a nice uh, Tyla to spawn or Rexus as well one thing I'm uh, really regretting though is uh, I found a 180 tech Rex the other day and I was like oh yeah I can, I can come back later and tame it and it died somehow so <laughs> Kinda sad about that, but that's okay. We'll find we'll find another one someday, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty much all I've been doing. Oh yeah, and I did end up upgrading uh, my my long neck rifle because uh, yeah, finding them in jobs is pretty much impossible, and I have to go to the caves if I wanna grab more. But the thing is, in order for me to wanna do caves, if I wanna have upgraded stuff before I do any caves, so it's kind of a Quite a dilemma. So yeah, I decided to at least upgrade that. And that way I feel a little bit more confident going into the caves pretty soon here. I mean, the shotguns should be pretty good as well. And we probably should be able to uh, bring a couple of things into the cave. Oh yeah, and also I made these additions. Uh, let me show you guys from the outside here. I mean, it's nothing too fancy, just a little bit more detail on the side. So it doesn't look all flat, which I'm pretty happy about. And I'm going to try to squeeze in... Uh, the industrial forge over here and over here will be a little kitchen area kind of do and some of the things i had down here are moved upstairs like the uh, modern stuff for example so we got that all organized over here and then later on i might make a little storage area maybe upstairs or down here i'm not sure yet oh yeah one also one of the other things we're gonna do today is uh, kill a bunch of mantises so we can get tons of uh, chitin or chitin, whatever you want to call it. I prefer chitin though. <laughs> so we're gonna take a dire for that. That's the only thing I really have on me right now that uh, is at least the most decent at uh, getting chitin. Because preferably you want to have either a saber tooth or a... what do you call it? The megatheriums. But of course we have neither one of those so we're gonna have to do with what we have. So we're gonna probably end up taking one of these dire since they have imprinted on them. I mean, they do have all their stats put into melee damage, which is uh, not too good for our situation right now, but I think we'll, 
we'll be able to get by. So those mantises, man, they uh, they deal quite a lot of damage. <laughs> but we also do a lot of damage, so that should be good. Let me grab some aqua. I need to make like a water tap over here as well. <laughs> I keep forgetting. So yeah, I think we should be good on train darts. Yeah, we got over 100. That should be enough for both uh, teams. So yeah, first off, we're going to look for the Anki. And then in the meanwhile, we should be able to find some... Uh, we need to look for some something called a Joshua tree. I think I will be able to recognize them, but yeah, supposedly they give us sap if we hit it with a chainsaw, which we got on us. So that is good. Uh, where's Jane? Where are you, Jane? Are you in here? Oh, there you are. <laughs> She's probably looking at you the whole time. Yeah, I know you're super loud. So let's see here. Uh, we got bullets on us, which we don't really need. Uh, actually, yeah, I do. I need to get my other weapon. Here it is. So this one has a little bit of less damage, but I prefer having more damage on the uh, the thing I'm up. The trank rifle. <laughs> there we go. Words. Uh, yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much everything I've done so far. So let's jump on Jane here and look for our Enki. So I'm probably gonna, just going to take a look around here and uh, I'll bring you guys back once I find something. And we're back. So I finally found one. Uh, it's pretty banged up because it was fighting a bunch of uh, hyena dance, which is not ideal. But we should be able to tame it still, I think. Hopefully. <laughs> let's make sure you are on passive. There we go. And let's give it a shot, shall we? Oh yeah, especially if we space out the shots, we should be good. Let's give it about one second more. Oh, never mind. Somebody chopping top bar. That is fine. Hey, buddy. So yeah, 174 is pretty decent, and it looks like it's got some pretty decent stats as well. Let's see here, uh, yeah, 30 in melee damage, that's always awesome. 33 in health, that is really good. Let's uh, get rid of this saber tube real quick. Never mind. Somehow I can't aim. There we go. <laughs> Excuse me, buddy, did you already forget about me? No, that's not okay. And actually in this situation kind of worked out, but still. <laughs> Oh, I should have brought a, uh, a saddle. I kind of forgot about that. And we're kind of pretty far away from home. Oh, not too bad, actually. Should be able to get home pretty soon. Uh, pretty fast, I mean. What the heck? Is my shot hit an uh, invisible rock or something? <laughs> hey, there we go. Let's get the kibble inside of you. Perfect. All right, so this is going to take like... Uh, where's my dodo dex? There we go. It's going to take about 10 minutes to tame, so we're going to put it on the tamer tracker. What are you? Level 48. Ah, oh, what a shame. <laughs> I would have loved a Mega Terrarium in this map, actually. That would be super cool. Yeah, I think uh, he should be safe over here right now. Oh, I just noticed, actually. I think these are the Just Watches that I was looking for. Are you mad? Yeah, you are mad. <laughs> Probably killed a bug. Oh my god, I do like no damage to you. I didn't realize they get armor as well from being uh, pissed off. That is interesting. Let's get rid of this Archie as well. Oh, you are pretty. Sometimes I do miss flying though. But we're hanging on. Alright, so let's see if we can get some set from this. Oh yeah, we do get some. Not a whole lot, but it will do. Getting tons of wood though. I never knew the chainsaw was this good actually. <laughs> never really had uh, an opportunity to use it. Actually, uh, last time I used it was on Genesis too, actually. Because there were these uh, trees that you could get tons of... Uh, what was it? Black pearls, I believe you get it from? Yeah, you, you were able to get a bunch of black pearls from uh, a certain tree in the, in the little... Uh, in the little messed up area. I forgot what it's called. <laughs> right, can we see how much sap we need for the kibble? Fair enough. <laughs> Let's get a few more trees and then... Uh, We'll just take what we can get for now. Okay, you get so much stuff. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, let's see. Uh, we could look it up real quick. Wouldn't hurt. Let's see. Uh, superior kibble. So we need one set per kibble. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we got. I think we got more than plenty for now then. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'm not sure if we need set for anything else, but we know where to get it if we need some. The other thing I want to do real quick is go up here, if there is a way up, that is. Uh, doesn't seem like it, at least not from this side. Can we shimmy up? Oh yeah. Terror birds are shimmy champions. <laughs> okay, never mind. The 
you are not. Come on. Let's get up. There we go. Hey, oh. So is there any crystal over here that is a rock elemental? Let's go this way. No, thank you, sir. Hi. You seen any crystal? Any crystal, guys. No? Ow. That's spiky. Oh, oh, god. Please don't let me get hit by him. Hit by him. Hey. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna find any crystal over here, sadly. Oh, got everything fighting now. That is fine. And jump. Just flappy bird our way back to the Enki. I think we'll probably uh, be able to get some crystal over there, though. Can we afford to go over there real quick? Yeah. He's safe. I want to see what we're getting from this shop, actually. Probably nothing, because loot has been terrible lately. I know I've been uh, complaining about it a couple times already, but... <laughs> I'm gonna keep complaining sadly. I apologize. Ooh, hey that beautiful. Lamentia. What do we get? Marmela tops and chitin boots. Yeah, see? That's terrible. Oh, hi buddy. Squeeze me, coming through. I need to find some crystal. We'll probably end up going to the red obelisk over there and uh, go to that cave. And hopefully get some uh, thing on bobs out of it, rare mushrooms. We need the crystal anyway, so it's a kind of a win-win situation, to be honest. <laughs> uh, come on, any crystal. Luckily we're pretty fast, so we don't have to worry about all that uh, crap we have to pass through. Come on, there's gotta be some crystal around here somewhere. Come on, crystal. Hello? There's obsidian over here. But no crystal? Why is it so difficult to get the crystal on this map? Ooh, hey. That's a UT. What level are you? 18. Uh, will we be able to kill it? I mean, we can shoot it. That works. Oh. Or not. Ow. Let's get a headshot in. Get out of here. You know, match for my new rifle. Kind of works out that he's stuck over there. There we go. I then I think I saw some crystal over here. Yeah, a few pieces, but I'll take it. Wait, do I even have my pick? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay, good. <laughs> Come on, rare mushrooms. Yeah, lame. Ooh, what is in here? What do we have here? Any goodies? It's very bright in here though. I think the game just hasn't loaded in yet. Yep, yep, there we go. Oh, hey, the Enki teamed up. We'll be heading over there just shortly. Oh, this is definitely a cave. Rubble Golem. Oh yeah, remember those guys? They're not too, too bad to, to kill though. I do vaguely remember this cave. I remember this little water part. You can use it to uh, trap all the dinos in and uh, just move along. Well, that's good to know that uh, there's a cave over here. So where are we? 2829? I will never remember that, but that's okay. Oh boy, it's gonna be quite difficult. Oh, hello. It's gonna be quite difficult getting a parasol over here. Excuse me. Why are you guys mad at me? Get out of here. Rude. It's probably because I was bleeding from the uh, Carno. That will make sense. Eh. Oh boy. Getting out of here is gonna be a little bit tricky. <laughs> also, it would be good, pretty good to find a decent level saber. Just in case. If I can find two of them and breed them up, that would be awesome. Ah, uh, yeah, we're not gonna get any by uh, digging it up with a hand, it looks like. That's okay though. That's why we got the Enki now. Unless I'm getting it wrong, I'm pretty sure you used to get uh, rare mushrooms from crystals. I need to do some research again. Can we make that jump? He oh, there's probably a cave down there that leads right outside. Let's take a look, shall we, actually? Kinda curious. Oh yeah, we were just here earlier as well. Well, above here, actually, but still. <laughs> Fly! Tapitera. There's a bunch of crap down there. So majestic. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. What's wrong, buddy? What is that noise you're making? It sounds like a lightning storm. It's pretty much the only storms we've been getting lately, at least uh, when I'm when I'm playing. <laughs> All right, let's pick you up before we go. Go. There we go. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Need to go make a saddle and then uh, go mine up some crystals. Then hopefully we will get some um, mushrooms finally. <laughs> And it's such a pain in the butt to get them in this time, in uh, this map. Alright, yeah, we should be able to follow this river here and uh, that will lead us straight back home. So let me head on back over there and I'll uh, meet you guys back when I'm uh, back over there.
Alright, and we're back. So I finally made a saddle for the Anki. And I did a little bit more research about the rare mushrooms. So one of the methods is, uh, of course, the crystals. But apparently there are these purple flowers somewhere. Let's see if I can find a few. Uh, so we need to look for pets of purple flowers. I mean, it could be anywhere, but I think I may know where to find a couple. I'm pretty sure they were at the old base. So let's give it a shot over there and see if we can find some. Apparently you can either harvest them with an Enki or a Morella Tops. So we're gonna give both a shot if we can find a spot. Come on, it's gotta be around here somewhere. Come on, purple flowers. Anywhere? <laughs> I was really hoping to spot some by now. Uh, let me take a look around here and I'll bring you guys back once I found some. Alright, here we go. I finally found some. Uh, it's a little hard to see right now. Oh, there we go. So, oh, these are aloe vera. Is it? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> well, yeah, the flowers that we, were, that we were looking for were these ones. So, let's try it out with the Morella tops first. Let's see here. The Camel Saurus. <laughs> That's an interesting name. Alright, so... There we go. Got nothing. Okay. Let's try that again. And again, and again, okay, we didn't get anything from it, uh, let's try the Enki, there we go, uh, let's get your damage up a little bit more, stamina, and more damage, <laughs> alright, so I think it's a C attack that harvests, right, nope, right click, hey, there we go, Okay, so no luck with the Enki either. Oh, there we go. Plant species Y. Some seeds. Rare flowers. No rare mushrooms though, sadly. But holy crap, we gathered a lot of stuff. <laughs> I'll take all of that. Yeah, not what we're looking for, sadly. Uh, let's see if we can find another patch here around here somewhere. So I was right, because there's our old base over there. So it's pretty much right across from the from there. You guys are looking forward to try it out yourself. Oh, here we go. So yeah, I think we'll definitely have more luck with the Enki. It's a little bit more versatile as well, so that works. Alright, still no rare mushrooms. It's kind of disappointing. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm a little bit annoyed by that to be honest, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. It could have possibly be these flowers then? Yeah, let's try it out over here. Let's gamma up as well so you guys can actually see. <laughs> uh, Enki, bada bing bada boom. Need to get your weight up, buddy. Maybe these ones? Nope. Come on, give me some flowers. Oh my goodness. I mean mushrooms, jeez. <laughs> I'm gonna confuse right now. Ah uh, yeah, so this method is not really gonna work for me. That's okay though, uh, let's head on over to the red obelisk and we'll just get up a bunch of crystals. Let's see, where's the red obelisk? Over there. Alright, and with the power of editing... We magically appear over at the entrance. Ta-da! <laughs> Alright, let's see here, let's get the Enki out. We can't gather a whole lot up, sadly. Um, wait a minute. Enki? Oh, there you are. That was weird. <laughs> I must have been holding it in my hand. Alright. See if we can... Oh, there we go. Yeah. A couple rare mushrooms already. That is amazing. Oh, could it have been that we harvested with the wrong? No, that can't be. Come on, give me some mushrooms. I really wish you could, uh, you could set up a farm for the mushrooms. Cause this is kind of ridiculous, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe there's a mod for that. I'll have to look into that. Okay, yeah, we're not getting any mushrooms anymore. Um, can we take all this with us? Or should I continue cat up a little bit more? Let's see, I think I still have the kibble thingy with me here. Uh, so we need two rare mushrooms per. So we should have enough, technically. Okay, you know what? I'll take it. <laughs> getting bored with gathering. Yeah, and I'll probably look into see if there's a mod for. Uh, Getting the mushrooms uh, make them farmable or something. So there's a lot of things I don't mind gathering, but 
something that barely uh, gives you any, especially on this map. That's just uh, tedious. What level are you? I'm still looking for a decent Parasitarium. Well, I found a 156, uh, pretty much right at my base. So we might end up taming that one. But I was hoping for at least a little, little bit of a higher level. You know what we we'll do? We'll tame up that guy and then once uh, we'll tame up that guy and then we'll go around off uh, between episodes and kill a bunch more of those guys. See if we can get a higher level to spawn. Preferably from the opposite sex so we can breed them up. I mean a 156 and a 1 whatever is not going to do a whole lot but still getting the imprint it might be uh, could be still pretty useful. Yeah I think that's a plan for now. And then, yeah, we'll look into that mod, see if there's uh, a way to get those mushrooms. And then hopefully we can finally start doing some other stuff as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty excited to uh, do the little nomad thingy. And of course, we also still have the plan for to build a little western town. Uh, I'm not sure if I talked about it already. I think that was when I talked about it, it was uh, when my footage got corrupted. So that was always fun. But yeah, we're actually, we're, yeah, it's right there. This is the spot where I'm gonna set up the western town. It's got a nice uh, flat-ish area, which actually works out perfectly. And I think the kind of style I want to go for is... Uh, I don't know if you guys ever played uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. There's a town called Valentine. And if you don't know it, look it up. It's it's quite a... It's pretty much exactly what I imagine a western town would look like. So yeah, we're gonna take some inspiration from that, probably uh, for the most part. Probably build a couple designs of our own because a lot of the style doesn't really fit into uh, the way arc building is set up <laughs> yeah let's see here i think what we'll do is wait till morning maybe no you know what we should be fine we can cam up so it's not really an issue um let's see here so i need to grab the kibble let's see here let's put the mushrooms in there so i'm pretty sure i need eight of them eight superior kibble and if we end up needing less, then that's fine still as well. So then we can use this kibble for something else. Uh, we should be able to make eight of them. Yep. All right. Let's put the rest of this stuff away. Oh, I need to. Where does it go? Uh, oh yeah, I did find an ankylo saddle. So that's pretty cool. Uh, not going to worry about making it right now. Oh, I need everything that spoils. I need to put in the refrigerator. Oh yeah, and I need the tent. <laughs> Don't want to get caught up in the storm again. So let's see here, and after that we can hopefully get some, uh, go, go ahead and kill some mentises. Let's see here, I don't need the chainsaw anymore for right now, so let's put that away. Oh, still got the narcoberries on me. There we go, amazing. Uh, is the kibble ready yet? Probably, right? Question mark? Yay, there we go. Alright, let's see if we can find this Parasiterium again. Is that how you pronounce it? I really don't know, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, it probably doesn't matter how I pronounce it, you guys probably know already which creature I'm talking about, so it's a fine. And then for the saddle we're probably... oh there it is. It's a lot closer than I thought. Let's get rid of these guys. Oh, got a bunch of terror birds after me. Oh, hold on. Oh no, it's a 174 Saber. Are you serious? Hold on, I need to work this out real quick. Okay, um, hmm, that is an issue. You know what, your stats are terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. There's plenty of saber tooths around, so we'll find another one pretty soon here. I'll have 24. Thought it said 180 for a second. Uh, Alright, let's get this guy contained up, shall we? Boop. We could just uh, spam hit it with darts. Doesn't really matter. There we go. Actually, we could guide it back to base. I don't see why not. See if we can get his attention long enough. Here we go. The closer to the base, the better. And there's not a whole lot of threats uh, left anymore, so that's good. Microraptor, you. <laughs> oh god, you. Pretty fast. Let's get a little bit of a head start. Uh, and if you guys are looking for silica balls, actually, so you can see they're right here. Pretty much all around these little dry spots in the water, there's tons of silica balls to be found. So that is awesome. Here we go. I'm pretty much almost back home. And I love that you can guide stuff around. 
usually in a lot of games uh, enemies have like a set uh, range of how far they can go until they like de-aggro or despawn. But of course in this game it's a lot different, which is amazing. Alright, if we can knock it out right around here, that should be good enough. Did I not hit it there? What the heck? Excuse me. There we go. Jeez. <laughs> Alright, a couple more shots should do it. Oh yeah, there's a bunch more silica pills over there too. Actually, a funny thing is, uh, the other day I was... I was uh, running around in my base and I accidentally hit E. And I picked up a bunch of silica pills somehow. <laughs> right to the floor. That was pretty funny. But they probably won't respawn, to be honest, because uh, foundations prevent things from spawning back. Naturally, of course. Where are you going? Could you turn around, please? I would appreciate that. No? Uh, that's fine. Still pretty close to base. Alright, amazing. We did it. Let's put two in there. And it's still gonna take uh, quite a long time. Let me check here. Let's see, one, five, six. Yeah, it's gonna take around 13 minutes. So, put you on the taming checker. Same old, same old. Alright, while well, that guy is taming up, we're gonna prepare the tire walls to. Do we need stem berries? Eh, don't think we need to. Well, actually, we should uh, keep some around in case we need to make some stimulants and stuff. We probably do at some point. Uh, oh yeah, I had a bunch of meat cook uh, cooking up. There we go. Amazing. Oh god, there's a storm coming in. No. I make tons of jerky. Awesome. Can keep these on us. That way we have some food left over. Perfect. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a good storm. Probably either heatwave or sandstorm. I'm guessing sandstorm. Which is gonna suck. So I guess there's not a whole lot to do than uh, just AFK here for a little bit. So I guess I'll bring you guys back once uh, all that is over and we're, we're able to continue on with the episode. <sighs> Alright, I'll meet you guys here back shortly. Alright, we're back again. So the storm is still going on, but I thought we, we can do a few things around the base uh, in the meanwhile. So one of the first things I want to do is make a fabricator. At least I think we can make a fabricator. Uh, 20 cementing base, I think we got that. Oh, need spark powder. Fair enough. Uh, let's see here. Let's do 100. Oh, that's a thousand. Well, that's fine too. <laughs> we'll just make whatever we can. I think I need to gather up some more stone, looks like. Here we go, that should be enough. And fabricator, not a thousand, just one please. Oh, come on. For some reason it doesn't recognize the mortar and pestles. I had that issue before. There we go. And can we make one of those fancy... Uh, I forgot what they're called. Crap. <laughs> uh, one of these things. There we go. Come and see, bench. Uh, we need 250 cementing base. Ugh. And for you, we need 600. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we need tons of chitin. So let's see, how much is that in total? 250, 600, is that 850, I believe? So how much can we make with what we currently have? So let's say we want to make a thousand. We make like 140. <laughs> let's say we want to make 700. How much do we need then? Once this is done crafting, we'll know, I think. So we need 3,000 chitin and some stone. Right, stone is easy to get. And I guess the chitin wouldn't be too bad either. Let's see, can we squeeze it in here without it making too much of a asshole? Yeah, we don't really have a lot of other spaces. I still need to make some glass over here too. So let's see here. I want you guys to be with me when I make this. So here we go. Super exciting. 10 out of 10 content, I know. <laughs> there we go. Hey, looks like the storm is over and the Pariser is uh, tamed up. That is awesome. Let's fill our water back up. Uh, let's go grab that guy real quick and... Oh, do we have a saddle for it actually? I think we do. Question is, is it the platform saddle? Fair... No, it's not. Alright. Fair enough. Um, What does a platform saddle require to make? Or cementing paste, of course. <laughs> Naturally. Oh, this is the one that has the snap points, right? Yeah. Huh. Oh wait, I think you have to put in the saddle first and then this thing, right? Yeah, I think so at least. Yeah, saddle platform. 
All right, fair enough. Um, let's go make both of them. We should be able to. Amazing. So I do kind of want to upgrade this one, but I don't think we should. Yeah, I think it will be fine. Let's go pick this guy up. Hey, buddy. I have to think of a name for you. And also for the Enki, we also need a name. We'll think of something, though. Uh, let's see here. So, hmm. Do we have the Dire Wolf on us? We do. Uh, we don't need these guys right now, so... Let's put two guys away. There we go. Oh, and the Parasaur, of course. Where is it? There we go. Let's get your saddle up and going. Bada bing and bada boom. Oh, hold on. Need to be up here. So yeah, this... Oh. Interesting. Makes it bigger. Ooh. That is cool. I like that. Yeah, this will give it snap points. So if we... Let's say we grab a wall real quick. Uh, let's do that wall. Just so I can show you guys. They snap. See? That is awesome. Super cool. Alright, anyway. Enough distractions. Let's... Uh, yeah, well... We'll head on over there with Jane. And then... Uh, we'll pop out the dire wolf once uh, we're over there. So, uh... To the desert! Alright, here we go. Let's uh, grab the dire wall for a quick. I don't know if you guys noticed it, but I did bring an extra set of gear with me because I'm pretty sure we're gonna get spit on and lose our all of our armor. So just in case we need it later on, we'll have it. Alright, let's see what kind of damage we can do. Oh yeah. One skyton already. There we go. I'm just gonna kill everything I see. Not gonna really worry about what I... Should kill and whatnot. One thing that also really helps is uh, having a little uh, plus sign above the head. Oh yeah, pretty much already have close to enough uh, that we need. Oh, hello. That was rude. Alright, hopefully get some more organic polymer out of it too. That will be pretty awesome. So, uh, hmm. you know what? Let's do a little bit of a killing uh, montage, shall we? <laughs> Alright, here we go. And 
uh, we're back again. So I ended up uh, with a little over 10,000 uh, chitin, which is pretty awesome. Looks like the only thing we're really lacking is stone. So I'll probably get her up a little bit more later, but for now we should have more than enough. Yeah, a little over 1,800. So it's actually not too bad. I was kind of expecting uh, a lot worse. So yeah, we're pretty good. Uh, let's see here. The first thing I wanted to make was the industrial fort. So let's grab that real quick. There we go. And can we make the, what's it called, a grinder? Or I already forgot the name of it. Chemistry bench, jeez. And we can make that too. Amazing. And I think later on we'll make the, the grill or... Actually, I think I want to make uh, the kitchen. Let's see, I think it's called a stove. Yep. So we need a bunch more stuff. Can we make it? Oh, we can. Holy crap. <laughs> wow. We got all the stuff we need. Sweet. Let's put that in here. We'll make it a little bit more prettier later on. And let's see if we can squeeze the forts in here. Probably not. But if we can't, uh, there's actually an option in the S plus settings that allows you to shrink it a little bit. So yeah, yeah, it's definitely too tall. I think I already shrunk it just a little bit. But yeah, quiet. As you guys can see, it's still not enough. So it will stick out a little bit for now. But at least we got it. Uh, let's see how bad it is actually. <laughs> uh, okay, that's not too bad. If we can center it a little bit more, then it might look a little bit better. What about from the outside? Actually, I don't really mind that at all. It's not too bad. Looks a little bit weird, but still not too bad. <laughs> uh, let's see. Now for the chemistry pens. Uh, we could probably just get rid of this stuff. So let's see if we can carry it all. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's get rid of this too. You are going to be on the stove. And the rest of you will just go ahead and delete you. Perfect. You should be able to squeeze it right in here, barely. Yeah, we're gonna have to move this torch box. What is in here anyway? Oh yeah, it's my stuff. <laughs> it's a little personal box that I put in. Ah, really happy to have the chemistry bench finally. It's amazing. All right, we can just get rid of this stuff. And probably the next thing we're gonna save up for is the grinder. So yeah, we need tons of stuff for that, which I'm not uh, too happy about gathering for now. <laughs> All right, all right, I get it. There's a storm coming. And let's put the little cooking pot on here. Super cute. <laughs> Looks like we need to... Oh, it is irrigated. Huh, interesting. Oh yeah, it does its own little irrigation. It's a little bad than uh, the what we have with S+, but it should do fine. So how is our jerky coming along? Pretty good. Gonna have to make some more spark powder. But sadly, that is all the time we have left for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, killing uh, montage. I think if you do, uh, we'll end up doing it a little bit more often. Because you know we gotta kill tons of stuff in here. <laughs> so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video today, guys. So if you end up... If you, uh, I'm messing up my outro. There we go. Dang it. <laughs> if you do end up enjoying the video, guys, please leave a like and comment if you want. And also if you're new here and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Alright, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.